Fifteen years ago today, my day started like literally 10,000 other days. I was hoping the weather would cooperate so I could get home on time. We made it to LaGuardia and after a brief layover at 3.24 p.m. and 54 seconds, the tower at LaGuardia cleared us for takeoff. As we climbed, I had a clear view of the Hudson River at 3.27 and 7 seconds. I told Jeff the after takeoff checklist was complete. Just three seconds later, I exclaimed, birds! We felt the engines rolling back. A sudden, complete, symmetrical loss of thrust in both engines. I took control of the aircraft by telling First Officer Jeff Skiles, my aircraft, and he responded, your aircraft, an acknowledgement that I was now the pilot flying and he would be pilot monitoring. Jeff began to go through the emergency checklist. I remember thinking, this can't be happening, but I knew I'd have only seconds to figure out what to do and minutes to execute the plan. In the cabin, the flight attendants felt the bird strike and assumed we were going to head back to LaGuardia. The cabin was as quiet as a library with no engine noise, but the passengers were mostly calm. They had no idea of the seriousness of the situation. I issued a mayday call and began a left turn as all of our options lay to our left. Air traffic controller Patrick Harton began to guide us back toward LaGuardia, but I quickly realized we could not glide that far. I told Patrick, we're unable. We may end up in the Hudson. I asked him about Teterboro Airport off to our right. He immediately called Teterboro and let them know of our emergency, but I quickly realized we couldn't make it there either. The Hudson River was coming up fast on us at this point. I knew if I set the airplane down on the river and kept it intact, the boats and ferries in the river could come to our rescue. I took a second or two to contemplate what I knew would be the only words I would get to say to the passengers in the most important PA announcement of my life. I wanted to prepare them, but not frighten them. I wanted to sound confident because I knew that courage can be contagious. I clicked on the intercom and said, this is the captain, brace for impact. I heard the flight attendants immediately start shouting their commands to the passengers. Brace, 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 heads down, stay down. Brace, 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 heads down, stay down. Over and over again, just before the cockpit alarm warnings came on, the incessant chiming and computerized voice repeating, too low terrain, too low terrain. I told Patrick one last time, we're gonna be in the Hudson. 